My hair is its own madness today, so I'm sorry. Hey guys, hope you all have been well. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, I do have one eye done and the rest of my base done because I can't sit here the whole time. When I do all that other stuff, it's like I want to be quiet so that I'm speedy gonzalez with it so that is where we are with the makeup it's a get ready with me so full list of products down below we're just gonna get started this is a very easy simple look but i'm chatty so this might take you know about half a day i was actually supposed to film a lot earlier but i decided i need to get crap done i needed to do laundry so i've washed two loads so far i'm gonna have one more to do and i made bentos for both my brothers this morning bento the way we use it here is basically a packed meal whether it's you know breakfast lunch dinner i've spoken about the history of where i'm from and we got that from the japanese it's pretty much an understood word bento is your packed lunch and then i made food for my parents for lunch i attempted to go to the gym and realized that i needed to renew my membership so i will be going in tomorrow morning oh i made myself my lunch and for lunch i made what i like to call the lazy person's made up pho i don't know how to make real pho but i know it takes a very long time so i just pretend like I'm trying to make it. It tastes pretty good. I mean, I'm the only one eating it. So my palate is the only taste I'm supposed to fit. Oh, I wanted to mention this. I'm gonna be decluttering this uh, concealer. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Creamy Concealer. I think it's fair to say that I just don't get on with ColourPop concealers. I've tried another one before and I don't like it, but I love the foundation. For whatever reason, they just tend to break up on me very quickly, meaning it looks like patchy and separated and I don't like it. Oh, by the way, these contact lenses, I've had them for a very long time, but they're kind of stuffed away back there. Like, I didn't even fix that for you. I'm sorry, it's a, it's a casual get ready with me. No plant for you today. But I had the contacts stashed away over there. Completely forgot about it. So as I was getting ready for this video, I'm like, mm, maybe I should go <laughs> just grab that and put it on. And I really like this pair in comparison to the gray ones that I had. The gray ones were pretty, but I like contacts that, you know, kind of play up the look without like being too overly apparent, you know? See how simple that eye look is? I feel like I need to go a little bit more pink right through here. It doesn't look as balanced. By the way, I'm using a combination of Tom Ford and NARS. I told you, description box, just check it out. I really need to get started on that grande video. Hasn't happened yet. I haven't started using it. Does anyone else like hoard snacks? I, I kind of keep a lot of snacks, but honestly, and you can choose to believe me or not, but I always end up bringing it back outside because I never either end up finishing it or I just don't touch it like I never touch it it's like comforting just knowing that I have it <laughs> I really need to do an updated like weight loss video I've never lied on here that you know I'm, I'm not working on myself but I really want to kick it into gear because I feel like I'm just doing enough I'm not really putting in an effort and I want to get to a point where I feel as strong as I once felt. I'm not there right now. So like I actually have a plan. I actually have my workouts planned. What I'm going to do when I go to the gym. And doing a little bit more work while I'm there. And then of course when I get home, it's not like, you know, free for all. I really want to be able to have the vegetables at home. And know that that's what I have to incorporate every single meal. Stick to an actual meal plan in terms of like sticking to calories, not going overboard, being mindful of you know what kind of fat content in, is in the the food. The way I handle my diet has been very haphazard. You know, some days 
I'm trying hard and some days I'm not. And in order to see results, you need to be able to hold yourself accountable and know where you know your errors might come from, why you might not be progressing as much as you like to. All of that, it's all, it all needs to be taken into account. And I don't know if you guys notice, with my weight loss videos, I never talk about numbers. Sometimes I'll see like I've lost these many pounds, but I never really mention my weight or sizes because it's just, I've had a bad habit of letting those things really um, determine my success of weight loss. Just wasn't the healthiest relationship that I had with weight loss. And so I've kind of, gotten to a place where I determine that based on the way that I feel, you know, how strong I feel, how good I feel, how my pain level with my injury, you know, is, is my weight or lack of exercise affecting that. I want those things to be what determines success for me. And I've, I've gotten to that place. I mean, this is not my first rodeo and luckily me trying to lose weight now is not um my heaviest weight because i've lost weight previously from my two two highest weights ever in my life and i'm not there thank goodness but i'm not gonna wait till i am and have to redo it all over again i made the choice to let this whole pandemic steer me away from the health priority to be honest so making it very clear i don't blame my lack of determination and um, self-discipline on covid but it definitely happened during that period and i allowed myself to do that does that make sense so yes i have been working on it when i say I've, I've gone to the gym i do go to the gym i do have you know my notes posted here and there i need to have that same um discipline that i used to because i want to get back to being strong for my body and that will require me to be a little bit more on track with things and not letting that be determined by how I feel that day, you know? It has to be an everyday thing, an everyday reminder. Like today, I really wanted um, iced coffee and I got one, like that's my sugar for today. And I didn't drink it all by myself, I shared it with my mom. I had the pho, which was basically really little noodles a very tiny bit of meat and i put spinach loads of spinach and lettuce in it with a soup and that's what i had for like my main meal i'm gonna have apples later like i i know how to do this because i've done it before and i know how to do it in a healthy manner for me because i've done it previously but it has been a while since it's been an actual daily occurrence you know i'm actively remembering to keep my goals in check i mean i don't think we're ever really going to get back to a real normal i mean the word pandemic will be a part of our vocabulary for god knows how many years present to future i just really need to get on with it i'm not using my hydro flask because i accidentally put lemonade in it and i want to finish it i don't feel like drinking it right now because i really need to get my water in water is the one thing on a daily basis no matter how bad i get with food like junk food no matter how much i take in the day i will never go without a certain amount of water that has stuck with me thank goodness but yeah that's where i'm at in terms of health i just it's always been important but I feel like I've lacked in the prioritizing of it. I just, I need to. This morning, um, I did like a long stretch session, pulled out my roller. I was popping and cracking in all these different places. I stretched a little bit more than I normally do. It was a good time today. Oh, let's do this thing. Fix plus compassion. If you guys are wondering what, what the scent is like, if you guys remember those markers from 
our youth, if we're around the same age. Those scented markers when we were younger. This one here smells like the blue marker. Annabelle, you remember what it smells like? Hell yeah, those are the best markers in the world. Not necessarily to like color with or write with because the best ones are Sharpies, obviously. But scent wise, you can beat it. The best smelling one is the blue marker, in my opinion. Pat McGrath and Charlotte Tilbury combo today. I'm filming. By the way, what is this conversation about? The side part is, it's like over with. It's all about the middle part. You can, you can have your middle part, but <laughs> there's no way that it's a better look than this one. Charlotte. I have a feeling people are gonna ask about this lip combo. I just, I just know. Check out the description box. There's certain video ideas that, you know, like you feel so comfortable making and you feel confident about what information you're giving. For me, I feel like those types of videos happen to be the ones that I do either on Mac or when I do like lip combinations. I just, I feel confident doing it. I'm not the biggest fan of lip products, but I really love working on finding really good lip combinations. Bless you. That was my father. All right, so there we have this get ready with me. I think it's gonna be a little shorter than usual in terms of like makeup application, but uh, I talked, so we might as well have been in a Zoom meeting. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me in this video. Check out the description box, full list of items, everything on my face, things you saw and things you didn't saw. But if you're interested in any of my makeup looks here on YouTube, past, present, future, then check me out on Instagram. First link in the description box down below where I post a photo of all my makeup looks along with all the products in the caption. Caption, caption. Till the next video, I hope you all are doing well, taking great care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Bye guys.